quick breakfast today before I head out. I'm just gonna have my espresso coffee. I don't even know. It's just soy milk and my espresso. And then I'm also having a little cup of Greek yogurt with some honey in it. Good morning, everyone. It is a cloudy and somewhat rainy day here in Melbourne. It's not raining yet, but I feel like it is. But I am going to a Japanese salon here in the city. It's located in the Emporium and it's called Mason Tsukichi something. I'll put the name here or I'll link it down below. But that's where I'm going today. They kindly invited me to come have a hair treatment for Olaplex. So I'm really excited because my hair is so damaged you guys it's so damaged i've colored it way too much in these past years it's just always being colored so they're gonna do an all plex treatment for me today and i'm really excited and i guess let's head out i feel like i'm running late because this is like the story of my life let's go all right you guys so i made it into the emporium and i am finally arriving at mason Tsukimi. so i'm gonna go get an all plex treatment here today so let's go looks fancy yeah. Hi! <laughs> Good, how are you? Oh, hi! <laughs> nice to meet you! Oh. <laughs> so we're just gonna wash my hair now before we do the Olaplex treatment. I'm so excited, you guys. My hair's been so dry since I came here, like you don't even know. I think it's because like the water's a little bit different here compared to Japan. Because my hair used to be like really soft in Japan, but after like a few shampoos here, it just got so dry. So we're gonna do the Olaplex treatment now. And Olaplex is really good for like damaged hair, right? Yeah, good. Oh. So originally you mix with the color. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. So less damage. Oh. Mm. It's good for barriers. So we do a lot of barriers. Oh, really? Mm. Wow. So we're doing the number two of Olaplex have the second of the Olaplex in right now and we're just gonna wait like 10 minutes for it to settle and then rinse it out. So this is a... It's the Orbe body cream. Body cream. So Orbe is... Um, they're made in the same factory as you know, Tom Ford. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they specialize in hair but they decided to get into the beauty market. Yeah. So they launched this one. So we're the only one in Australia that has all the beauty in it. Oh, no way. Yeah! Oh, so nice. <laughs> it's like even though I've left Japan, I'm still like craving the Japanese food. Yeah. yeah. Look at this, you guys. They have like Japanese magazines. They have BB. They have like sparkling water. And look, they even have some snacks. So cute, you guys. done at Mason Tsukiji and it looks like it feels so much better you guys so I definitely recommend to go there if you guys want to get like a treatment or like Olaplex or anything like that they're so nice so I'm just gonna like go home now all right you guys I am back home and now it was raining on the way home but that's okay like nothing wrong with that I had a great time at the salon like seriously you guys my hair is like so freaking soft like look at that hasn't looked this good in so long feels so much better um the guy was so good at doing my hairstyle too he did it just how i like normally do it like perfect flawless um so if you guys are interested in like a uh, japanese um salon in melbourne definitely check out mason sumiki sumiki i think it is yeah definitely check them out because they're so nice there and really really good and thorough and the products that they use are so like high-end it it was so well worth it well worth it but they did as you guys saw they did gift me with a few things to bring home from the oribe oribe brand this brand 
So as you guys saw, they gave me the signature hair conditioner for daily use. That's a nice lightweight conditioner that's good for people that have damaged hair. So I got that. I can't wait to try this out. Then they also gifted me the shampoo from the line that's paraben free, sulfate free, free of any harsh chemicals. So it's really good for people like me with color damaged hair like and really thin hair. Um, and it's not like a foaming shampoo, it's a cleansing cream, which is really cool as well. So I'm so excited to like use this in my shower routine. Then they also gave me the Gold Lust Dry Shampoo, which is so handy because I actually really need this because I don't want to shower too much. Like, yeah, dry shampoo, you guys. And then they also gave me the Dry Texturizing Spray to try out. I'm so excited, you guys. Ah. I love the smell of this brand. It smells so good. They also gifted me with one of the lip sticks from the line. So I got the nude color, which um, the girl was wearing today and it looks so good on her. Can't wait to try it out. Look at this packaging. <gasps> Can we just like appreciate this? Oh my God. So I have some lipstick on right now, like the Vise one that I normally use. But let's put this over top and see what happens. Cause this is kind of like worn off. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. so my style and i have this like big lovely pimple there please don't mind that my lips are super dry too sorry i'm thirsty Ooh. oh god my lips are so dry <gasps> oh it's so pretty oh this color wow so that was really nice that was such a great way to spend the morning so it's midday now. It's going on about 2 o'clock, I think. So I'm going to have some lunch. I am starving. All I ate today was that yogurt that you guys saw in the morning. So let's go make some lunch, shall we? I feel like I want to make some salmon. All right, you guys. So I just have three sheets of these tin foils because I don't have an oven pan. And I'm going to be taking these salmon fillets that I have here that I got from the grocery store. And they're not frozen. They're just, um, they're just freaking ready to go. It's okay. And for my fillets, I'm just going to first take these chili flakes that I have here and I'm just gonna like sprinkle that all over because I love a little bit of spice in my life. Okay, that's a lot, but you know, do you, you do you girl. And then I'm just gonna take some ground pepper and give that a little bit and also a little bit of salt. And then I'm going to put some balsamic vinegar over top of that. I don't know why I shook it. <laughs> just gonna put my thumb over it to control the pour and just sprinkle it over. Just kind of make sure every every little bit gets on there. Then I thinly sliced the, uh, wow. Then I thinly sliced some garlic cloves, so about one fat one, and I'm just gonna kind of lay that on it. Not really in any particular way just so it gives like a burst of flavor. Then I'm just going to drizzle that in some olive oil as well. Oops, I always do too much. I put, I should put my finger over this as well, but you know how it goes. Then I have these fresh sprigs or whatever you call it of thyme. Is this rosemary or thyme? I don't know. Uh, this stuff, <laughs> God, it's such a rookie. Just kind of put that all over. And then I have these lemon wedges and I'm just gonna lay those over top. Cause I'm fancy. And then today I feel like an added bit of sweetness. So I'm just gonna add a little drizzle of some honey. Just a really little bit though. Like do it from high up so that it really drizzles. Oh, well, here I am acting like I know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, that looks like a dream. And then I'm just gonna fold up my edges. and cover it up with another piece of foil and pinch those edges together and fold it in kind of like creating one of those steam steam nests so that it, it just kind of seals in all that flavor put it in the oven at maybe like 350 400 degrees and bake it for about maybe 15 minutes all right you guys so it's been in the oven for about 15 minutes or more i wasn't paying attention i don't set timers so this either is going to be cooked undercooked or overcooked so let's find out undercooked put it back put it back
Just took my fish out of the oven. Let's take a peek and see if it's cooked. I left it in for a bit longer because it actually was undercooked the first time, so I didn't set the temperature high enough for how fast I wanted to cook it. It's probably going to be overcooked now, though that usually happens. Ooh! Doesn't that look amazing? It smells so good, you guys. Look at that. Yummy! Look at Oh, so good. Alright, let's take... I always forget to oil the um, the tin foil at the bottom, so it always sticks. Oh, it smells so good. And there you have it. Lunch is served. We've got pesto soba and spinach with, I don't even know what to call it, balsamic honey glazed garlic chili freaking I don't even know. It's good. You guys, the package arrives. Dun da da da. Da 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 da. Blah. Package. Package. I already know what this is, but you guys don't know what it is. But I already do. I already know what it is. Something that I needed for my filming. Blah. Took longer. What the? Fuck? Oh. What? Okay, that's a surprise. I didn't know they, what? Why are they coming with umbrellas? This is so weird. What? Huh? Okay. So, I ordered some, whoa. <laughs> I ordered some tripods for my studio lights, my ring lights, um, but I'm pretty sure the eBay page didn't say they'd actually come with umbrellas. And why are they two different colors? Like, shouldn't they both be white or both be black? Uh -uh kind of kind of random now i'm ready ready for the rain i don't know this is actually better than my umbrella that i got from daiso for the rain so apparently i got two umbrella lights um that's so stupid why would one be a reflective one and then the other one's just plain white that's, that's kind of redundant well i'm not going to use those anyway and then in here is just my tripods, so they're just light stands, so you can put any kind of light you want on it. Um, yeah, I had these in Japan, I shipped them from my house in Canada, but I didn't want to ship them to Australia just because the shipping would be a lot more expensive, and I just, I figured I'd just buy new ones here, and it was pretty cheap, it was only like 30 something or $40 for these two light stands. So yeah, I got two of these. I'm gonna attach my ring lights onto them and then I can actually mount my ring lights properly because right now I've just been using my laundry rack, which I actually have my camera on right now. So ghetto. All right, let's try it out. And sorry if you can hear stuff in the background. I just have the windows open because my oven always sets off the fire alarm, you guys. It's the worst. They put the fire alarm literally right above the oven. Always a design flaw. I got a mouthful of the chili pepper flakes, but it doesn't even matter. It's so good. I took out my contact lenses, my blue ones, just because um, I'm at home. There's no need for me. Like, I'm not looking far away, so I don't need my um, glasses or contacts on. So I always wear my contacts whenever I'm going to go out. So it helps me see things from far away so I don't miss a bus, I don't miss a train, stuff like that. And I can meet up with people. But yeah, otherwise, for any new subscribers, my natural eye color is brown not blue. All right, you guys, so I'm going to eat lunch and probably work on editing a video and get some work done today. I'm going to end the vlog here tonight, guys, because I'm not really going to do anything else for today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and definitely check out Mason Sumiki if you guys are in the Melbourne area and looking for like a Japanese inspired hair salon that does Japanese treatments and stuff like that. And if you guys try out this salmon recipe, then let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. And thank you for watching. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, subscribe, but of course, only if you want to, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!